Uh, my name is Jan Riha and uh, we prepared a talk uh, together with my colleague uh, Ivo Vishin uh, about uh, optical activity of, uh, of crystalline origin. Uh, we are from, we are from uh, Patsky University in Olomouc, Faculty of Science. From Faculty of Science, uh, I work for the uh, Department of Experimental Physics. My colleagues, my colleague uh, works for the Department of Optics. At first, my colleague will start with a uh, with, um, uh, description of phenomenon optical activity in crystals. We wanted to say some words about principle optical activity in the time. Uh, so we omit the principles. And we can define three fields for application of mathematics and the crystalline optical activity, the crystals. The first field is clear. It is uh, performing and long and tedious calculation because only the simplest uh, model of couplet oscillators which we used for solution of the activity uh, can be solved uh, without uh, such tools as Mathematica. The second field is the um, theoretical interpretation of experimental data of optical data dispersion F, uh, and uh, circular dichroism. And uh, uh, the field is, the, is a presentation of the results, the results uh, using uh, above all the uh, graphical possibilities of Mathematica. First example. <laughs> First example is the visualization uh, of the couplet oscillators model. We uh, let us restrict ourselves to the groups of symmetry, crystals belonging to groups of symmetry, of symmetry uh, D3, 4, or D3, 6. Is known that the crystals contains uh, three couplet oscillators in this model in elementary cell. And other, uh, and for, um, we can also describe a direction of vibration of this crystal. It is known this uh, direction of vibrations are a tangential uh, to, uh, to the helix on which the couplet oscillators lie. Using this code in Mathematica, we can get this picture. This basic description of elementary cell, we can see helix on which the couplet oscillators lie and position of the oscillators. And in the next picture, is proved is a better picture uh, with better description of this picture and also with direction vibrations. So I will show you very very quickly uh, examples of usage uh, of Mathematica in solution uh, and computation the optical activity for crystals. At first uh, we use Mathematica for symbolic computations uh, using the calculation of rotational strength of normal mode vibration, the optical rotator dispersion and also circular dehroism can be expressed in this form. And, uh, and uh, uh, our, our goal is to find dispersion relation uh, for optical rotator dispersion in this form, where uh, constants k are dependent on uh, on uh, crystal and also our three coupled oscillator model parameters, the same for the same for uh, circular dehroism. If uh, we will go far from frequency region of dehroic frequent frequencies. It means we uh, satisfy the relation uh, for a damping constant. Uh, we will simplify this, this relation for optical rotatory dispersion uh, to, this for, to, la to the last form uh, in the end, where the first, first, um, uh, first um, uh, term is well known as Drude term, it was, and this term was firstly 
obtained for uh, uh, rotatory dispersion of molecules. The second one is well known as Chandrasekhar form, uh, which arises from two coupled oscillators model, and the last one arises from usage of three coupled oscillators model. Uh, and very quickly, I will show you some experimental data interpretation for two crystals. The first one is sodium uranium acetate crystal, and it's it's uh, silver dichroism. We obtain it using using fitting procedure in, uh, in Mathematica and using uh, minimization of sum of squares. We obtained this this uh, this result for circular dichroism in, comp in comparison with experimental data. And the same the same one and much more difficult is for the crystal of benzyl, uh, which uh, instead of one uh, it has four significant uh, dichroic bands, and uh, also the computation of uh, of uh, uh, the final uh, dependency for these crystals is much more difficult. So for optical rotator dispersion, we obtained this curve uh, and we use it, uh, the result for optical rotator dispersion, because uh, circular dichroism is connected uh, with uh, optical rotator dispersion by uh, Kramer's chronic transforms. We used also for circular dichroism and we obtained this curve which is as for me uh, it, it is a pretty good result because uh, because between the measurements of optical rotatory dispersion and circular dichroism is about 10 years and uh, and uh, these uh, these uh, measurements uh, were uh, were based on different methods, uh, different different uh, preparation of samples, and so on. Uh, this is, uh, if you are interested in a list of our published papers, and uh, very quickly, that's all. And I thank you for your attention.